Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for bout number five of the show. So please welcome to the blue corner from Pyax Slam, Fabio and Gio. This is Fabio Angus from uh, Hayek Siam. But they both come out, Dave, with shin pads on, or one come out with shin pads on. Yeah. And they thought it was going to be an N-class, and one thought it was a C-class. And it's now turned into a C-class bout, so... Uh, nice. And, uh, you can hear the, uh, the support from the man from uh, Payak Siam. Just needs to keep his hands up a little bit again. Oh! There, as I say that, he gets caught with a head kick. Yeah. Lovely left kick there. And uh, Andre, the taller of the fighters here, he really would like to see him using his kicks. And yeah, like you say, Andre actually came out with yeah. shin pads on, the man from KO Bloodline. <laughs> trained by uh, the infamous Paul Murat there in the corner. Tough, tough training at KO Bloodline. I know, it's like, he's not going to care about taking those shin pads off. Well, they've obviously fought with C-Class before. I was they uh, wouldn't have taken them off, as far as I'm concerned. So, um, why they were doing N-Class in the first place, I don't know. Great knee there from uh, the man in blue. The thing that's worrying me is uh, blue corner. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's confusing. The man in the blue box is actually red corner, who just landed that beautiful knee up the middle. But um, Fabio there in the white gloves and the blue corner. Fabio uh, just needs to keep his hands up yeah, and stop coming in with his head down as well. That's he's going to get worrying me. He's going to get caught with that knee on the way in, or he's going to get caught with a head kick, one or the one or the other. That's the thing. You keep your hands up that high, then you're going to end up getting up, getting those knees up the middle. Exactly. And if you drop your hands as low as he's had them then you're going to get kicked over the top. So he's in a bit of a dangerous position here. He's coming in with his head very low as well, which is always dangerous. Let's have a little sit down though, Dave, as you know. So very I know what I'd rather do. It's quite confusing, that is it? Just hear uh, Paul Morat there saying, keep it long. 
because he is the ranger of fighter. He should be using that jab, body kick, using oh, well, his range. Without a doubt, he's long, he's tall, he's got long legs. He start using that push kick. Nice knee through the middle there. Really well timed as well, just as his opponent came in. He timed that knee really well. It's starting to relax a little bit now. You probably see a bit more of a decent tie combinations rather than the messy start. Great left body kick there. Again, if you look at the scoring and the technique, uh, red corner just landing some better scores. The knee up the middle, the body kick on the outside, because he's being answered by some body boxing. Absolutely. The man in the blue corner is just not going to balance. He doesn't score. He doesn't score. See, beautiful timing again. He threw the right hand and the red corner just threw the left kick straight down the middle. And that's the thing. It's got to show effect. It's all very well hitting the body, working the hands to the body. Like that low kick was much better. Yeah, very saw, good low kick. You saw red corner's leg just bending under and again, the pressure. And again. But now he's getting tagged. He's getting tagged here by the taller man. Yeah, that's it. He just closed it in, hands around the back, yeah, pull him in that's tight. That's the right thing to do as well. Just saving the energy, staying, get back to the outside. Especially with a taller fighter. Yeah, get back to chopping the leg. Chop the big tree down. The man can't stand, the man can't fight. Exactly. Some See, quality head. knees from Red here though. Yeah, big, solid knees coming in. The blue corner needs to push him back to the ropes and just close it up. Or he's going to get caught with them knees all day long. Uh, any one of these knees could stop him. Low kick, yeah, exactly. But he's going to telegraph it. You'll see it coming. He does uh, red corner, blue gloves, just to clarify. Uh, does carry his chin a little bit high as he comes in. So I'd be aware of that overhand, but at the moment, red, uh, blue corner not capitalizing on that. And we'll get the colors of the corners eventually at the end of the fight. <laughs> or at the end of the night. underway again good solid body kick there from uh, blue gloves yeah, the red corners evading that low kick now you can see it coming it's a little bit slower and he's just stepping back yeah, just when we were, what I was highlighting in the last round there was red corners chin a little bit high and uh, white gloves there just firing that overhand right and landing it flush yeah didn't didn't rock him but it was a shot that I saw in there again the overhand big left hook over the top as well I think I think he's I think he's pretty much realized David that's probably the only arsenal he's got, arsenal he's got exactly he's uh because he's a shorter guy he's got to go with that overhand right or, or that low kick really that's about all he's got yeah definitely Red corner looking a little like he's slowed a little bit, like he's tiring. Yeah, I think they are. They're big lads though, they're, uh, they started off fast. Some, oh, back to the knees though, that have had such good effect yep. from red corner. Very high scoring as well, and he's, he's dominated most of his clinching with the knees. And nice left kick. This is, a, again, a classic thing when you get at this level, it's no disrespect, but both fighters getting a bit tired, so they sit off each other, but now Fabio is stepping up the action yeah. and coming in and firing some hands and having good effect. A nice low kick then as the red corner steps in, so uh, he's getting a few scores, but... Um, yeah, it's interesting when both guys get tired now. Got caught with that left hook, correct? Fabio banging those hands over the top. Well, if he's going to finish it, he's going to have to finish it quick because uh, he hasn't got long left. Yeah, referee just keeping the action going well there, not letting there you him go. rest. The action, the referee is, as we said, Jesse Saunders, very experienced referee. He will let them go if they're working. If you're going into the clinch just for a rest, he will break you and make you work. Exactly. It's, it's a great, great sign. But the crowd, the crowd doesn't want to see two blokes rolling around on each other on the ropes anyway. If, if, if they're not throwing any knees or anything, split it up and let them fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after immense three rounds of points action, the judges have 